Hey, MK3 fam, it's your girl works. I have no idea in what order I'm going to put these videos out. They are not connected, but they're kind of connected. They are philosophical questions, um, scenarios. And, you know, I'm just wondering, what would you do in these type of scenarios? I think I've talked about this before, but I definitely wanted to bring it up again. So one time when I was in college, I was a resident advisor, an RA. Some places call them CAs and um, community advisor. I forget what they call them. But anywho, I was an RA and it was another girl that was an RA. So back at this time, the way they did our building was if you were scheduled to work the front desk, you had to be in the building by a certain time. If you were scheduled, if you weren't scheduled to work the front desk, you had to be in the building by a later time. But you still had to be in the building because technically, you know, they're telling these parents that it's always going to be somebody there should they child need something, yada, yada, yada. So this particular night, I was not scheduled to work. I was not back in the building by my curfew, which I believe at that night was midnight. And I think on the weekends, if you're not scheduled and you're saying you're going home or something, you could be out even later. I can't remember. But for RAs, we had to be in by, no, maybe 10 o'clock was our time frame. Whatever the time frame was when you didn't have to work, I wasn't in there by that time. So I'm on my way back and I happen to see another RA and she's out past curfew as well. So, but that ain't got nothing to do with me. And um, I see her and she's with a guy that's not her fiance and they are tonguing it down, tonguing it down. But when I'm looking, she's kissing him and I keep on moving. I don't say anything. Mind my business. Well, time passes. We have our next staff meeting. And so it's all the RAs and the RD. That's the resident director. So she was our boss. So all of us are there. We're having this big staff meeting or whatever. We're going over some stuff. And then before the meeting is over, this B, and I'm doing my best not to cuss. So this B says, you know, when they open it up and say, we're getting ready to go. Anybody got anything to volunteer? She's like, oh, works hard. Hey, um, did I see you? last night out after curfew actually you know what it was the next day and so i look up like mm, shaggy like wait a minute is this girl trying to put me on blast when she was out too but then i realized what happened when i wasn't looking at her she must have saw me and when she wasn't looking at me i must have saw her so i didn't know she saw me now no one asked her this but she wants to do it so i say to her no you must be mistaken and so she was like, no, I'm pretty sure that I saw you. And it was after such and such. Now, this particular girl, I liked her. So it blew my mind that she was doing this. And I'm sitting here like, what is going on? Because the boss was my friend. So now she's looking at both of us like, what's going on? And so I said, no, I think you're mistaken. And she was like, no, I'm pretty sure I saw you out. And it was after midnight. And I was like, hmm, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't think it was that late. But was that you with some guy that wasn't your fiance? And then she said, you know what? I think I saw you. And I don't know what I'm talking about. I think I saw you around such and such a time. You're right. It wasn't after midnight because she didn't know I saw her. So that blew my mind. So you doing dirt, but you want to throw dirt on me. I did the dirt. I ain't even going to say I didn't do the dirt, but I wasn't I saying know. anything. How so you all let me know what your thoughts are. Are you the person that tells and you didn't get caught? Do you think that you should tell on yourself as well? Just let me know your thoughts, okay? Share this channel out, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and you guys know what it is. Bye!